Your tea time. Auntie Shelley. Never bag a thing for talk. It's a blessing. Blessings. I am. More blessings. Just when they forget the more blessings. Stop me. Cut. But I I am blessed, and I am blessed to have the one and the only Vegas. Yeah, don't I have any other names? Clifford. Clifford. Yeah. Last name? Smith. Clifford Smith. Because he's not only a top artist that has stayed in the game, a producer, but he's also one of us, a menace on the internet. That's what they call us. Oh, God. He sips tea. <laughs> I am not a menace. I am a menace. Are you not a menace? I'm just a truth teller. Oh, that's what they truth call us? Truth teller of truth has no friends. None? Yeah. Hmm. So what do you know Sir, about Octane <laughs> and Digicel? <laughs> what? what do you know? <laughs> what do you know well, was... about Octane? <laughs> And you put out, let me just bring everybody up to speed, because if you're not a, a menace lover and love truth telling, you might miss a lot of things. So there's an argument you have with Octane, but Auntie Shelley got drawn in. Drawn in, right? Drawn in, baby. You draw me into the yeah. drama, um, the truth telling, and you said, any day Auntie Shelley starts sip her tea, <laughs> Yo. Um, you, you, what did you mean by that? Yeah, you just start off a soap me style, like you just go from one, away, I go 100 to zero. Mm -hmm. You just start a hundred. No, we just, we just do say so you used to work at Digicel, and of course, you know. Yeah. I have we a just lot know, of say, we just know, say, you know, one day the, the teacup I go open, so. We just have one them. Octane in particular? No, I just want him to say, yo, leave Vegas alone. Because when this whole thing started to do, my acting is like, you man can't go a clash and then go friend and do a song together with some producer youth or some youth. And then I say, yo, me said the man is dead. And I say, yo, I <laughs> said that. It was mm -hmm. like, I say, yo, why the man is dead? I said to my life. So then I burn him out and then I start to get two little messages from some of the little sister in the man. I say, yo, Listen to this, you must say, I love your girl called one and I say, hmm. Hmm. Wait till Shelly talk. Octane, you have 24 hours. My Bank of America, Zell. Why get charged extortion? <laughs> Listen, you know, I am a legal extortionist because it's either you pay me. Or I taught the truth, and it's not, I don't, that's extortion. You know, so this is not going viral, I'm going to see how secret you act. But I do. Yeah, Jesus Christ, <laughs> this time I'm going to tell you. But I do. So I just saying, I Auntie Shelly needs to get paid. I do Megs, a honest Megs, minute. Megs, Megs, <laughs> Megs, it's not me. It's not me. <laughs> We never well, know she has started the interview, so I thought she was going to talk I, about I music. Miss, Miss, Mr. Editor. Please to drop the part with the video, because I have the video saved of him saying, wait till Auntie Shelly draw the teacup. Please put it, insert it right there, so you get that. Copy? Yeah. Shelly, and Cora, no, you know, any day, any day, she go for a cup of tea and start talking out, no matter what look for She know the people that they were around. This is a Cat Williams, a dance hall. Yes. I am special. I just don't know what I am yet. Dance hall is a dangerous place, man. I know Very. A lot of hypocrites and you know things going in the dance hall. So because we know it so long, we, we kind of understand still. And when we hear people attack, we don't pay them two cents. Mind. Because we know so there's a lot of hypocrites and you know some people where pretend you know to be 
somebody else, you know, them true self or them real self will eventually come out. True. Just so it going on life, you know. True. You see, you have the ideal self and you have the true self. So at, at some point, the, the, the real self will come out. You see, because a person can just hide for so long. A person can hide for so long under the ideal self or behind the ideal self. Your true self must come out. And this is why I lo love to watch you on the internet as the menace because not so many people want to be um, honest with their truth. Well, I wouldn't say. Uncomfortable. I don't think, they, all right, let me correct, because it's a reasoning, it's not scripted. Right. I would, what I want to say when I see you on the internet, it's almost, it's not everybody is comfortable with the skin they're in, who right. they are. And I see you as kind of like a rock star, because that's how a rock star don't care. We speak because we love ourselves if the truth is ugly or the truth is good, we're going right. to turn around and make it to another day. Well, my life is, a open, is an open book, you know. What you see is what you get. You see? Nobody has no secret for me. What you see is what you get. I just need this every day. Some days I see me dress up, some days I dress up. Some days I see me in the street, I just look like anybody I, you know, just carry myself. You know, because in a, in a, today in you're way. in full Versace. Right, um, and the next time I can dress it up still. So what you see is what you get. What you hear is is me. I'm not. I'm not trying to be Oprah or anything. Oprah had a moment. I see the artist. There's a lot of I am gay. He's gay. He's not gay, and all of that. Futa is the emperor of all of that. But you are wearing Versace. How do you feel about an artist? Because some of the arguments are ridiculous. Like they're taking the argument right. of being sketchy to a ridiculous place. No, no, no. How do the, you feel yeah, about? I don't think you, you can be rocking a Versace outfit when you are so anti to the point where, you know, it's like everything, you know, is, is, is an issue. Or, you know, you, you seem to like talk about, like, is that your main subject? So, so I'm like, you know, even the clothes them we are wearing still, you can't denounce the person where we are the clothes and they still endorse that person. True. You're Understand? buying from the person. It's an endorsement based Correct. on your philosophy. Correct. You see, because I just wear clothes. You see, I wear, you know, whatever, I wear whatever brand. Whatever fits you. Whatever look good for me. Yeah. It's a massive. But when you take a position or you take a stance, then you're going to be hypocritical if you, if you say you know, you're in another world, in another time. you don't want to be associated with that world, you don't want to speak to people in another world. If a man got interview with somebody from that world, you know, and I not with that person there. And it's just weird because we live in a world now where if the pilot, you know, the, you know, the plane, shaky way I got to jump through the window, I will be emergency door and jump out. So it's just a world where we live in a year. No, no me want to ask footer that. <laughs> That's a good point. Once if sure you about were on a plane footer and Somebody tell you that the pilot is shaky. Do you put your trust in him or do you jump out the plane? But also understand this wow. enough man go jail, you know, and have a house, you know, to see himself with shaky people. And I'm have to just accept that until they release them. Just so you think that's all is a, well, I know it's a hypocrit hypocritical place, but I guess I don't need an answer from you. You don't even have to answer. That's it, Betty. That's it, Betty. That was just a nonsense question. Because you're going to tell me that it is one of the biggest hypocritical, non truthful, all acting. All but, well, it's not, it's the fans, them, it's everybody. It's just a society where we live in still. Because, case in point, a man can get caught wearing an underwear. And him just tell you something and everybody believe it. But if another you would get caught doing the same thing, they might go crucify him. Understand what I say? It's just the, the, the society where we live now. Um, you know, rapists and them people. Eh? If, it's, if, if, if a man is a pedophile and in popular and you talk about it, you will get the fire burn. You see? Right. You are the, you are the person where they might go come after. And they Recently that reached me. They might go justify the They might go justify the act as, oh, them little girl, they're a big man, they but if it's somebody where them don't like, it's it's. I understand. And it's the same thing of even look at look at um case in point, Layla Ike and Coffee. You see, and people will accept Layla Ike even though she 
has come out and said she's a certain way. But then they will, you know, go after coffee. For whatever reason, maybe at the aesthetic appeal. Maybe, maybe because she don't declare herself, but coffee doesn't really have to come out. If she doesn't have to, why do we have to declare our sexuality? I don't know. I don't. I, that's not even the point I'm trying to make. I'm trying to say, why would you go after one person, but the other person is is is? And exempt? I was trying to wonder if it's because no. coffee is keeping her. Stance. I don't. I don't think she. I don't, I don't. When I look at coffee, I say I'm a musician. I don't think anything away from that still. Whether she is whatever she, 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 she wants to be or whatever, whoever she is. And that's how it should be. Right. I, I just see her as a great musician. And so is Sam Smith. The, you know what I mean? Well, when I look at Sam Smith, well, Sam Smith, I can't, I can't pre-Sam Smith music because the images that we put out take away from the music. Like, you know, somebody got OD, like a, like a tribe present to the world something else. And, and that distra that's a distraction from the music for me still. Okay. So would you... And this is a this is like a genuine question, nothing attached. Would you prefer Sam Smith, who is showing you who he is, sexuality, and that's it's in the videos. It's clear he likes men, or would you want it to be presented like Puff Daddy? <laughs> So it's, you don't know, he's selling you women, but he has transvestites planted in the videos with one of our biggest icon, our Jamaican notorious B.I.G. So, I mean, I gave you a lot there, but you understand what I'm not saying? Um, oh, not yes. really um, not allegedly? No, no, allegedly. Well, well, well. We, I can break. Listen, as a matter of fact, facts. This is so important because what is going to come out of what Sean Puffy Combs have done to the world, musicians, even parts in Jamaica, it is going to be the, the it's going to rock. It's going to rock our souls and know what a devil really looks like. So I'm going to ask the question again. I want to play Biggie Smalls. Please just put the clip with the lady coming out of the bed with Notorious B.I.G. I want you to zoom into Adam her Apple. Adam Apple and then she's in another scene where you can see you know what I'm talking about. And so I'm deep diving into a uh, years of transforming and putting a lifestyle onto. So much so I invited Elephant Man to come and tell us what happened. Uh, he, he won't come here. And yes, uh, Elephant Man, it will, it, people are going to want to speak to every artist signed because the stories are so horrific. And I wanted him to come here and tell his story. So, back again. Right. Sam Smith, yeah. who tells you who he is, or someone who is going to plan for your demise by taking your masculinity. He's going to do it without you knowing, but he's going to dangle carrots. Man, he's going like, to... It's not like the prosecutor, but, but what may I say is... I sound like the prosecutor yeah, for like, Buffy? Yeah. Jesus. So, when, when the question you asked about, like a Sam Smith, you mm -hmm. see, you have to be careful of the impression of the mind. You see? Because when, you know, they, they are trying to promote what they are promoting, you see, like there's a true agenda in that regard. You see, I say, is that. There's no agenda here with the chance no, 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 no. that that is, that is that When you look at Puffy's situation, that is. And that's one scenario. I have a what? whole case. Well, hold on. If I had Puffy's case, he would be in jail no, already. No, no, but look what I'm saying. So what I'm saying is both of the situations, you know, are, are wrong. Or, you know, somebody is trying to um, trick somebody into whatever. Right. right? So what I'm saying is both of the situations are wrong. But the thing with, when I look at music, like Crazy in Poil, George Michael, when I was listening to one, you know, whenever I say George Michael, we just hear stories of George Michael. Gay. You know, in a, in, in a, bathroom, in a, in a, in a, get caught in this. Right. right. I, I was but whenever I say George Michael, fan. them out there, a uh, certain way there. From where I look at you, to, look at you to hear about boy jazz, and we never really, really tune into boy jazz that way because it's like there was an agenda, like them I try to promote something other than the music. 
So when I look at a Sam Smith, it's like he might try to promote something other than the music. Like there's a clear agenda to capture the youth them mind. You see? Puffy them situation, that is a whole investigation of going the FBI and one bag of people. And so, Shelly Koran, their part. Their right. Tea time, their part. So we will eventually know what happened. And mm -hmm. once the FBI is involved, you know, you know that's, 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 that's trouble, bro. So we will know what happened. We will find if it's the next R. Kelly situation. But you remember what I asked you. Not saying you're accepting. I don't want no, to no, put those no, no, kind of no, no, words. None of the situation is... is, is, is so correct. none of them? None of them. So there's so no cannot, choice for you? There's there, no choice. There's no choice. Right? You, can't, okay. you, can't, you cannot be promoting, you know, a certain idea to the impressionable mind at this point when we see how they're trying to change gender. They're trying to change everything. So you look up, you look them confused. And these big celebrities, when they put them out there, it's not just for the music in my view. It's more than that. It's to capture your kids' their mind. It's to confuse the kids' them. Um, so I think that part right there, me can't see Sam Smith in the same way or me that maybe listen to um, in, in a, a George Michael show. I respect you. I, I, love, right. I love how you look at it because that's coming from your views. And I think that's a very intelligent answer. Um, none of them, in your view, is right. I like, I love Sam Smith. I, that's just mine. That's not, this is not Shelley's view. This is... Yeah, but it means like Lickin' Naz to me still. Like, I couldn't find myself a listen to Lickin' Naz. But well, we listen with our ears. That's me. Yeah, but it's the it's image. It's how it makes you it's feel. Like, it's like when you think about Jesus, you don't think about a white man. No, I don't. You see? I'm a majority of people. They close their eyes now and think about Jesus. What do you think about? He's... he's what he's kind of image you see? The image see, of the plant in your brain for your baby. There, him, see, like him have that. And him... It look more like focus, him of that ear like. Or Still, see, you go back to the ear. You see what I say? So that is it. This is where the picture, the image of them paint in your mind. Some of these images that they're putting out to the kids, to the children, them things that stay in the youth, their mind, and the young mind, the impressionable mind, that is what they're targeting, in my view. Mm -hmm. You see, I think they're targeting the impressionable mind. Puffy, them things are undercover thing long time when they're going to bag of things, allegedly. And we will find out now. But we see a clear cut. Case where judge um, when name Sam Smith them yes I try to push an agenda and the youth them so do you not think uh, we're just going back to coffee though do you not think that because she has done songs with Sam Smith could it be that they think that she is no forcing forcing based off of your arguments right. then someone like Sam Smith it's not like an artist that doing him thing without pushing it. So you just said visually he is OD. Remember, Coffee just did a song with him. Did a song with him. So right. could it could be one of the reasons why? Because Leela don't really and she's rolling with the tribe, the Rasta tribe that's supposed to be our tribe. Yeah. So, but well, you don't say Layla trying to enforce that thing that you don't. No, say that's what I'm saying. She's see? rolling with them and right. she's not pushing right. her life. Right. So, an argument could be made that, um, could, could be made that um, you know, they're trying to get into the space and, and, and via coffee. And I could make that, that, but it's a hypothetical thing right there. So, I can't speak on that still because I don't know if when she shoot the video, if she and them did not the same scene, if she did her scene, that. Whatever, whatever. I'm, I'm not trying to even make excuses for her still, but when I think of coffee, I think of coffee music. I don't see her out there trying to push an agenda. Even Leila Ike. When I think of Leila Ike, I think of her music. She comes forward and she say a thing, and is he there? They're beautiful musicians. I understand. They're, so, they're but it's absolutely... just a society. The society will accept a Leila Ike, but they will reject a coffee. Because a society will accept why? a Mr. Handsome who molests people, children, or, or molests a, pe a person. Um, in a, a little youth in New York, someone's child, and he's in Jamaica preaching, and the Christian people them love him. That's the society we're living in. It's a hypocritical society. And when I speak about it, them get my page, my Facebook shut down, and my YouTube shut down, and my Instagram shut down to well, protect a pedophile. Hold on. So if I made a comment on my IG about sons flying in young Miami, and she's on the radar as Puffy's possible co-conspirator, not just for drugging and, I don't want to just say it, just. That, But that's an ongoing investigation. It still. is, but it's ongoing. Yeah, but we cannot, we cannot prejudge well, her. Well, listen, listen, I have a, 
but people say don't prejudge her, but if the FBI and a court document still, says, still hold on, if a court document says Mr. Vegas might be trafficking children, hold on, it's in the court, and Shelly has a choice to say, I am going to put Vegas in a movie, and I have the choice and I need you, and I really want you for the role. But there is a chance mm -hmm. that the allegations yes. might be true. So how is it going to look that I am now, shouldn't we wait? I am not saying bury anyone. I'm not trying to block anybody's blessings. But sex trafficking, I would rather. And what is it sending to our people in Jamaica where there's missing women every, if you know and you follow me, if you didn't know before, I'm very passionate about children and women missing and whether they're being trafficked or whether they're being abused or whatever. So this thing really, really irks me. Right. So I would have to, sex trafficker, me have to park you. Well, you're what Pedophile? You're, you're what it says though, it says might. And we do not know if she has a, an agreement, a contract, with, 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 with um, the, the, the team or the, the company that brought her in. So I think because it's an ongoing investigation, and as you said, it might mm -hmm. be the case, mm -hmm. I think it will be, um, could be liable for them to cancel her because there is an allegation. Nobody else is booking her. I don't understand why Sans is doing uh, you You're trying to agenda. put it up. Nobody is booking her. If you go on TMZ now, she just advertised, meet me in Fort Lauderdale, and people are saying, why? So the feds can catch us too? <laughs> so why Jamaica have to be the person to keep her? I'm just saying, the man house just got raided last week. Mm -hmm. she we have she, to, okay. Objectively, I mean, objectively she, 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 you know, we have to look at it from that, 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 that angle in an objective light, because she, she may have been booked Prior to all of this, what hit song she have that we had to have her here? Mm, that no matter them, them, them over, she's a she's a we call it now a celebrity. What mm. is she? Um, they just invite her as a, um, an icon, an influencer. Icon. A uh, what? <laughs> what you said? I didn't hear you. Talk loud, make the camera pick on up. It's not an icon. She's not. She's she's booked. Yeah. An icon. What she do? What what is she known for? Being what? Puffy's woman. A we, sex worker. Well, you know what? On about 10 I, documents. I am confident that when the FBI is involved, if something is there, they will find it. So I don't even get worked up over it because I know once it's in with the FBI. I am not getting worked up, you know, but I think I need to say something. No, but, but your, your concern, yes. I think your concern will be met um, because of the bodies that are involved. The FBI is no joke. It's not, it's not a concern. It, my concern is Sans. My concern is Jamaica. My concern is that you have a Mr. Vegas with hits. Hits. You have artists and artists that could pull and people would actually know what they're singing. Right. So you went out of your way to pull somebody who is on multiple multiple you get that you copy multiple allegations yeah. that have children come on right sex trafficking oh fine no, fine those are that, those are that. My, yeah, yeah. oh the blur about that yeah. the <laughs> pink stuff the pink thing because it's pink. So you're saying if, she was, she was, if it was a drugs thing, it would have been a different situation? No, I'm saying these are all of oh, the allegations. Okay. Oh, with her thing? Yes. Oh, oh, oh. So oh. that's all of, those are not me putting it there. That's in the, in the atmosphere. That is all the things that are in but a we have court. Seen, we have seen instances where people are charged with drugs trafficking and stuff like that, and they still keep cancer. No. Would, I don't have that's a... Well you know what? The drug one, I don't have... Listen, I'm not touching the drug one. Here, what are my causes? The sex trafficking, right. the drugging to rape. Right. Me, I go stop it right there. So Allegedly. Allegedly. Because you know me now, puff daddy money. Allegedly. Allegedly. But it's not allegedly that she's in the court listed as someone who participated. So it's allegedly. Well, you know, man, well, trust me. I, I don't think if, uh, listen, if she's doing that, 
the FBI will get to it. Once the F, you see what, you see what I killed it? 30 years. Right. Yeah. I want to say, I am not annoyed with her for coming. She needs to be paid. She's an alleged artist, right? <laughs> She's an alleged artist. She's a well-paid sex worker. She said that in her own things. So these things are said. And I have a concern that Sans would pick out of everybody in the world, in the timing. What kind of sign is that to Jamaica? It says to me, things like sex trafficking is not important. And I want to tell you, missing Jamaicans. Remember Sam me them call for, yeah. for go help sign. Right, right. Yeah? Yeah, there's a, docu there's a call call documentary. No, no missing child, mm -hmm. mud, no, nobody missing. Anybody ever call Sans yet? For go find your cousin missing? Answer yes, them don't hear your voice. Yes or no, them call them? You ever see, you ever see one of these influencers or promoters put a missing poster on one of these women? No. Never. Who you see do it? Shelly. Auntie Shelly, so me I go talk. I am no. utterly disgusted. I was saying some of these situations, you know, though the situation is bad, yeah, I'll be you know, um, the situation is, is gruesome because um, it's, it's devastating for anybody to lose a loved one, especially you can't find the person for, you know, bury the person or for, you know, get closure, you see? But we have to be aware that some of these young women, they put themselves in situations, they put themselves in harm way. You know, they even see the danger and they continue to pursue that, 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 that um, whatever they're looking for. Maybe a career in music, maybe to, to get a butt shot, maybe to, you know, different things to look good on the internet, Music, to, be in, to be influenced, influencer. As, all them type of things there. Mm -hmm. So, so I think we need to actually, we need to also spread that part of the message. You see, there needs to be, um, you know, you know, a conversation about that. Not just when they go missing, because that is when everybody get riled up and say such and such missing and whatever. And, and you know, you come on the internet, you talk about it. Other people come on the internet and they talk about it. But we don't do enough of, you know, having a conversation about what these girls are willing to do and how they're willing to risk their lives to be top celebrities on the internet. I am going to take that cue to start putting some of those conversations right. um, on my platform. Um, my agenda is to help the situation, even, and I understand now, sitting with you, just now, getting to the root right. of self-respect, mm -hmm. doing without, uh, one second, Cardo, please. Cardo, please, yeah. I'm just trying to. Yeah. Right. This, the self-respect, you know, revisiting things like this that does, for women, what we do for money, yeah, um, the power, so. Our fame, you know? Fame. Yeah, man. So we have to, that part of the conversation is missing, in my view, and we're not doing a lot to spread that part of the, the, the conversation. You see, we need to let these young women understand that, you know, some situations are just not worth it. And we see how you have TikTok now where people can actually make money just from being on TikTok and, you know, our Instagram and them things here. No, and some people are posting to get the, the highest bidder. Yes. Some of these, these women, they are posting to get the highest bidder. And the highest bidder may come with a jealous ex-con. Well, just to stick a pin, um, I'm not saying that Slickiana, I just want to bring it up because Slickiana is very popular, but she lost her life by meeting somebody she didn't know on the internet too. And I don't want nobody that loves Slickiana, rest in peace Slickiana. This is an awareness for people to be careful. Not everything that glitters right. is gold, right? So we have to be careful what we choose and what we want and, and understand life is the greatest thing. Yeah, man. Once it gone, it gone. Once it gone, it? Yeah, based on the Western idea. Yeah. yeah. And the way she went, it was nothing like yeah, man. Can't what was... Yeah, man. It's still family still, yeah. It's so terrible when a loved one, you know, go out that way. You see? Goes out that way. But 
Bo ya sabes que de ahí se va. You know what? They're going to say on the internet now that I um and and I understand all of those that is going to say I I'm not victim blaming. Is right. it why it's important why which we 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 want to talk the truth. But then you're going to say me a victim. I'm not victim blaming. No, but, but I but, think some situations uh, must be used to, to, um, to, use an example to spread the message still. Because I need to save some of you. Right. I need right. to save some of you. So if me I go get little bashing, it's not because I am saying it happened or it should have happened. So I have been the one looking for the people that do it. But I still want your part of it that you just brought to light the, the reason, the drives. Even my friend that lost, lost her life, medic. I mean, she was dating a prisoner. It, it doesn't mean she should have died. Is but that confirmed? <laughs> I am anti Shelley. There's no allegedly. I know this case more than some people at Constance Spring that have the case. I have the police call me. So I'll tell you that. So, the, the, okay, it, all right, he does, Vegas doesn't too believe me, but this was said by the deputy commissioner on, confirmed. No, said it, I think they said they were investigating. No, he confirmed that there was no, a relation. Was confirmed. confirmed. That someone from jail. No, it's, she was dating, was it's her man. It's her man, it's her man. And, and he, manager. and it's her manager. And it's a deputy commissioner came out and said they're now investigating it being a hit. Oh, that part I'm talking, it's an investigation. That part no, 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 no. Right. They haven't conf Right, that right. They're that looking part. in. Okay, okay. so but, I just wanted, wanted you to clarify that because yeah, but we the, don't want people to say you said No, that I, was weird. what I said was she was dating right, a right. prisoner that is not allegedly no i'm just wanting to make yeah, it clear no, because no, no, we no. don't want anybody misconstrue no 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 you know you say no, no. Yeah. it is he contacted me himself okay when they, he was looking for her oh the the, 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 the gentleman mm -hmm. okay and said hey i'm looking for her and they're blaming me and i said to him it don't look good it's still an investigation, so I could wait and say no. I'm not crucifying him. You, you, you're missing the point. No, you see. Look into the point. Let's, let's go, let's go right. back to the point. Right. It's not wise. I don't want to know if that part is true or not. You know, I'm not an investigator. I want to know why a beautiful girl like that, a beautiful soul, would think keeping a relationship with a man that is in jail for murder was a good decision. That's it. I want other women to think. Right. You get, I don't want to solve this crime. But, but, I am but, saying with the facts out there, you, you just said to me, right. what is the root? Do we so you, make bad you, decisions? You want to date someone that is in prison? Are you going to go and tell me some date cartel? <laughs> Oh, come now, come now. Right. No, no, I wasn't even thinking you that. Were I was just asking. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I was asking if you would date an ex-con or somebody who was in prison. No. Like, you wouldn't have a relationship with No, prison. never but did. some women... Never on some, record, because right. remember, I can't sit here as a... What did I call us earlier? What is the word? The, no... No, menace. Right. I can't sit as a menace to menace and tell you any lies. But, 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 let's, I, psh, ah, cartel. Let's cartel, understand. Let's understand. Cartel. This cartel. Whatever entanglement I had with him was way before. Okay, so I'm still saying I'm not and will not. But that don't mean that judge but, but, anybody but look, for but, doing but look at this it because look at this there it are is some, an entanglement. There are some people who are in prison and people believe that they are innocent. So if there's a situation and, and we have seen, you know, countless times where innocent people are, you know, you know, convicted of various crimes. So a woman, Why? you know, may fall in love with someone who she thinks is wrongly convicted. That is true. You understand? So I would not, you know, we don't know what was our mindset if that. So then. So then, with this person that so she was then, 
what are some of the things that a woman should not do? Because that was a red flag in that particular case. Sikiana going to a different place, not knowing a person like that is, was a, another red flag. We're just talking red flags, right? So what it is you want to hold the women to? Because you said, you said, some of our actions put us in some positions. Mm -hmm. So right now I give you some positions and it's not really, it's, you need to tell me what are some of the positions. You, you would have to determine, you know, as, a, as an adult, I guess, if you're dating um, people of that age group that these girls are talking about, you, you would have to assess your situation and, and know if this situation is dangerous for you. Because what may seem dangerous for me may not seem dangerous for you. Are come off as dangerous for you. As I said before, some men are in prison and they're in and they're, you know, they said they're innocent. Our people think that they're innocent. Do you think vibes is innocent? I don't have no um, opinion on that. No opinion. Zero. You never look up the case. I, I always follow the letter of the law. At this point, is 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 not, you know, guilty of anything. And I and I work with the letter of the law. My yeah. my my assumptions. Or my, um, you know, mindset, you know, is not important to the facts. You see, the fact is what I really work with. <laughs> so, yeah? your mindset, your mind might be telling you something. What is it? It is not relevant. It is not relevant to the truth. The facts. The fact is, he's in jail now because basically, it's like he's in jail now, waiting to be released or, or go to trial. So at this point, he has no conviction. So I cannot say if I think. He's guilty or not. It, my opinion doesn't matter. Oh, you go, you're going to see the concert, free, the cartel concert? Will you be there? If I am here and I feel like going out, I think it's going to be a, it will be a good situation if he comes out. Nice. Yeah. Jeffrey, you going on his podcast soon? Or anytime soon? Or? Um... The reason why I come check you become a thing say is a is a is a more in a person where um you can reason with. Understand why? what I say? I think you because it's not just like I think you're a you're a person you're passionate about some of the things that I'm passionate about. Like as you said before, sex trafficking and type of things there. Yeah. And um, you know, so I think your platform or your podcast is more suitable for me still. I don't think Jeffrey's podcast is like for artists of my age group. Um, or the, 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 the amount of time I've been in music. I don't think, I don't think I'm, that's my crowd, honestly. Um, and, and he even said it when he was talking about Russian rhythm, you know, he was like, I don't want to hear an old artist on the rhythm, something of the sort. So I realized that is not my crowd. That is not my audience. Old artists? Right. So, uh, it's no, just, you know but it's no offense to that thing. Maybe, maybe it's just a youth to connect more with the younger generation. Do you mean? Um, what do you feel like for the pan reading as a, as a, as a juvenile you look out for? Um, juvenile alone? Okay. No, there's, there's a new youth there. But no, I said, no, I, I can't hold people more and bring my pan reading. So you wouldn't go on it because he had said that he liked the, you know, something like this? <laughs> no? I never hear that version. <laughs> yeah, tell me something. You never hear that. We, 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 that like that. We don't know that we are talking about. It make him feel good. That, that weird beat. We don't hear nothing about that beat. So it's, that's not the reason. It would be more the No, man. It's just, mu it's just music. me as a musician. Oh. Uh, I just think it's not my audience. So yeah, that one. His niche so, market is not my market. So this one make you. It's not my niche market where, wherever um, the, pl the platform is where they are more of into. They're more into the younger generation. I try to rule my lane, basically. You see, the shows I'm with them at the festivals. All over the world. All over the world. Them shows that when we do over the world, them still appreciate real dance hall, authentic dance hall. Correct. I don't try to compete with the younger generation. So I, I don't see myself, what am I going to achieve at, at going there to, 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 to cater to this audience that I don't even think they understand um, original dance hall music. I don't think they appreciate it. Original dance and music. Or original or good music, period. Right. So I, so I try to stay in my lane, but I, but I do respect what he's doing mm -hmm. for the culture. Yes. Uh, interviewing the young youth and giving them advice. 
You see? Me stay with the, with the older artists, me like them. Yeah, I just think the music, our music, we have to be very careful trying to go into the, um, different areas or different crowds. You see, when our crowd, it's just you're going to show up yourself and look like nothing I'm going to you. When I'm performing, I just came back from Guadeloupe and the people them, them still appreciate real authentic dancers. I am blessed, broke it down, gallus, them two that can't steal in a certain market, the Latino market. Yeah, them songs, they never get old. Never. You see? So I choose to do like festivals. I don't try to perform in Jamaica and try to go on every... You never choose to do festivals. Festivals choose you. Right. But I, I, you don't see me running around in Jamaica. I'd rather turn on my camera. You and think go. there's regular artists, like young artists, go and say, I choose to do a festival. Festival never call them yet for choose. There are some still that, that I think they, are, they have good potential, like, like TJ, I think TJ has great Oh, potential. TJ has a great potential. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I because think Nigel Boy is going to be one of those artists too. Nigel Boy, that's, gonna be, you know, that's in right. Demand, an in-demand artist. But we're talking about the mass of what we're seeing as popular running dance hall now. You may see them on a party party. But they don't, they, some of these but younger don't artists, they don't need to, like Kraft and um, Valiant. And, Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I don't think they need to be doing festivals where the reggae artists are, the, the original dancer call, artists are. You call because they festivals have a crowd. that? You call festivals only reggae? I mean, well, it's more band driven. Yes. You know, performing band. with bands, more like a, you know, maybe like a roots vibe or like an original authentic dance album. Well, I'm talking about festivals. festivals where I see Nicki Minaj and. So it's not just, it's. You have these, you those have festivals, like, yeah. you, yeah, you know, those they are call like them major, yeah, major, major yeah, yeah. it doesn't, right. I don't mean reggae. I was more talking about like Europe, touring Europe and the West Coast and those regions. Right. Right. Africa. Right. So I wouldn't recommend. Africa. Right. I wouldn't recommend the younger artists them doing those festivals because they're going to perform with tracks and the track is going to be playing when they're singing. And I don't think that crowd is ready for that as yet. But their audience appreciates that. But why don't you, why don't you? Instead of saying they won't appreciate, why won't you not say? Because your era, which is my era, right? Okay, so I was with you all at almost, the, almost because I'm still younger than a little bit. Younger. I don't know, I don't right. know if I am, but we're very much right, right. there. But okay? somewhere, yeah, somewhere there. So we were partying the same time, watching. Uh, I was, pepper seed with him. Pepper seed with him. Okay, okay, so you did it then. I am there. You did it. I Summer ranking. I was at his two Grammys parties. I was oh. 16 and I went to both Shabbos. You were 16 when Shabbos ran came around the place? Yes. So I, I didn't realize that it was about, you know, how you view the music and all of that. Going to the, getting into the music more. Can you just tell us how you started? Um, I grew up um, in Upper St. Andrew. I used to run away from home because I, you know, my, my brothers used to abuse me. And my sisters and my older brothers and sisters. Um, sister, one, one sister in particular. So, um, like when I was like eight or nine years old, I was, I was running away from home. Beat you? Yeah, man, like abused, not beat, just abused, like terrible. So I used to run away from home, and when I ran away from home, I would hang out at this, you know, you know, out at the like street dances. So the sound system, you now I started, started getting attached to the sound system. So, them time, yeah, like Stitchy, you know, not before Stitchy, I think it was like, who was before Stitchy? It was the, the era before Stitchy. The era yeah. before Stitchy. Right. I think it was Tiger. Tiger. Tiger, them, I think. Mm -hmm. So I get, and then I grew up, you know, here in the Stitchy, them, and them, by the song, you know, that the song says. Papa San. Right. But then it was, Shabarangs. It was, it was more like, it was more like hearing, you know, just the, 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 the melodious, you know, you know, vocals from Luton and Stitchy and, you know, the great singers back then. Yeah. The Johnny Asburn. So I started like, you know, getting, you know, attached to the music. So I would, I would find some form of comfort. solace or comfort when I ran away from home with the sound system. But when the, when the dance lock off now, we we'll roam the street. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that carried over into me coming to Kingston from Upper St. Andrew, up Unity, Lawrence 7. Past Lawrence 7 and go up some more. And so I grew up basically up in Pigeon Valley, a place up in, um, a past Lawrence 7 and go up that side. Where Mrs. Owens, I think, is the, is the MP up there. Right. Wait, wait. So... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing with you. So I, I, came, I came to Kingston and I started pursuing music. Started pursuing music. I um, hung out at the studio for, you know, a long time. I recorded Pickup. Pickup who produced some of the greatest dance art hits with 
You know, ninja man and thing as to what cover me, them two. Cover me. So I was around, pick out them time there. Put when your body on the low. Great producer, great, great person. To like. A timeless. Yeah, man. He was timeless like. Timeless classic. He was one of the persons that tried with me. And then after that, I left music. I went, I opened a cook shop because my mom started cussing me. But he went on cruff, you know, that dream the way I run them. You know, you need to, you know, do something with your life. So I opened a cook shop in Patrick City. Um, so one day I was in the cook shop singing. And Anthony Red Rose passed, and you know, I think he heard me singing. So he reversed his car. I think it was a red car he was driving. And he just went around, went around, you know, I the car reversed, and he went, and I said, Look, this boy, come out of the chicken and go out, the kitchen and go out in the studio. And it was something hit that day, and I went straight up to Freddie McGregor's studio the next day. And I met Daniel the day when I went up there. Jeremy and Ford, um, you know, was playing a beat. He made a beat for Daniel. So he was playing the beat in the studio and I was there hanging out. For Don Ute? Yeah, Don Ute was the one who recorded me. Don Ute, the artist? Yeah. Don Ute who, big up Don Ute who used to come to my house. Right. And they formed Dotty Cup in my yeah, house. Don Ute, Don Ute is the one who took me to Jeremy Harding. Don Ute is the, is, the, is the person that is most responsible for my career. Don Ute and Mad Cobra and, and Weepo from Stone Love. So they are instrumental in, 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 in how Vegas got here. I need to big up Dan Youth. I know you're in Atlanta yeah, now. Great, great Youth. He, he, he big up yourself. I read him in Golden Child. I'm living in Golden Child. Auntie still loves you. Yeah, man. He's living in Golden Child. So he, yeah, he, I went into the child. studio when Red Rose was at the, the cook shop. I went to the studio and I heard the beat and the beat was just playing. And I was in the studio singing, I heard she sang a good song. And German was like, that song good and he recorded me and played it for Daniel. And Daniel came in the studio, jumped on the record. So now I started hearing the song playing and the, the exterminator bust them apart. And this song just a blasting at the bus then. Up in Cherry Gardens where I was, because Daniel was regarded right. as real uptown. Yeah, you know, he was in the circle. So it yes. So after that, he took me to Jeremy Harding. Who is very uptown. After, after I broke into, and, and Weepo mm -hmm. sent me to mute voice training. And Weepo oh, from Stone Love. Yeah, no, Weepo. Yeah. So he was, that Weepo was, I wanted Weepo to manage me actually when I, when, when I got my first big tune. Uh, the two first big songs I had, Heads Eye and Nike here. I wanted Weepo to manage me. But he was like, no man, go on, man. Go on, go eat the food. So, so there's a question because this is so weird. I didn't know I'd get all of this from you. Where's Anthony now? When's the last time you ever connected? Red Rose? Yes. Well, I, I've not seen him recently, but you know, we used to like hang out at, at, at Studio 2000. Mm -hmm. Because Red Rose, they're like the cornerstone for dance hall, you know, with everything, with the production, mm -hmm. you know, it goes studio, the vibe, the jokes, mm -hmm. you know, the change the line there. Sometimes Red Rose, I'm just in the studio. And, you know, back then, back then, artists used to be more down to earth with each other, you know, less diva mentality. So I would be in the studio recording something run at Studio 2000 and Red Rose would be like a man who come in, come change one line and one line he change, make the sound become a hit. So he was instrumental in a lot of artists' career in that, in that regard. Yeah, he and uh, you know, countless people back in, 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 in them days. I love how you give him his props and his No man, great person, great person, man. He come to here. your career. Those, those, are, those are the type of people that I, I would love, you know, to get their, their story out. Because he's one so of So why you never tell the people them, say, me and you come on a plane together and me the same. I believe in your Vegas. So you know, tell the people say the one little so when I say to you, I believe in you. And to Shelly, they believe in you too. No, no, of course. That's a me you always have a, have a have a good, you know, vibe. May you like connect, you know, we're politically apart, but I could talk about this. Why why are you uh, sorry, why are you on the internet like you, <laughs> you have gotten some contract from Andrew Olness? I, I, why? I actually interviewed Andrew Olness when he was just running for Prime Minister. I was the one of the uh, because I was very um, outspoken against the selling of um, um, Goat Island. And he promised me that he was not going to sell it. So from that... Did I, he not sell it? Well, his administration was not sold under his administration. And it was about to be sold under the PMP administration. Myself, Ziggy Marley, other activists and myself, we were campaigning. The record is there. We were going all over the television So what, who station. owns Goat Island right now? I'm not sure. I think it's still um, a heritage site. Our, 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 um, because it protects the ecosystem. So he never do it, he never give it to the Chinese and don't tell we. Well, you'd have to investigate that. I have no I'm going to that investigate still. it because right. I well, want we don't to, know still because yeah. I want to make sure that the person who you are supporting, supporting yeah. straight up, 
Yeah, I, I support Mrs. Holness because I think she's been attacked very unfairly because she's Why not, you say that? Because I think people are, are selective in their outrage. Their outrage against her and the, all the semantics that people are throwing around about tabling documents and all that stuff and making it come all out right. as if she's more corrupted than any other politicians mm -hmm. that ever exists. I think Julius Holness selective. just declared her, just, <laughs> just declared her earnings as 1.6 million. Okay. For US, the year. US? <laughs> Ah. How much is how much is how much is how much is um Mark Golden earning for, for the year? Mark Golden has a company. How much is it? Millions, maybe how millions. How much is he earning for I the year? I don't know. Okay. But he, he But you see you see you have but you he, have Mrs. Wallace's figure, but you don't have Mark Golden's figure. No, you know why I you know why I'm I, I'm looking at her figure? Because she and her husband is three years late. So Mark has late in, late in which way? In late declaration, in so they have no. To, they, they have declared, but no, they, they have, have not. They have declared, they, but it is on investigation. No, they did not. They, they, yes, they have. They have turned over the the, the, oh, the mean documents. They have questions and they have, the, they have turned over the documents, but, but there are there are other documents that were asked to be, you know, to be it, submitted. It, but let me let me. You not you not going to twist me up with actual, no no. But I'm I'm, but, I'm, I'm no, actually but I'm that to, is actually the facts though. But okay, here's that the facts. he did turn over is Here, that is is whatever they requested. But he wasn't clear. They weren't finished. The statutory declaration is not finished. Exactly. Three you're saying years. It. But you're saying it. He's three years but you, late. But you Don't can't blame. You cannot. You cannot blame. No, this is not a trick. You cannot blame. Andrew Wilness, if I think a, a, a document or whatever is incomplete, because it is an investigation. If it's an investigation, if they ask for more documents, then they have to wait until that is turned over. Why would, wait, what, hold do on. You, do you? So you think it's Andrew Wilness? It is yeah. the people that went turned over to? No, I don't think so. And you I don't think, think so, but that, that is a fact. I think if Andrew didn't put a gag order on the commissioner and on the commission that looks over the integrity of our country that they can't speak up freely, you can't say it's them that uh, actually holding it because there is a law that they cannot, who is the illicit six? They, they who is it. the illicit six? Uh, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who hold on. is the illicit six? Hold on sister, hold on sister, you see? These are, these are the talking who points. Who is the illicit six? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you a question. Why the case turned up with pure heat again? One wait, second. wait, wait, just one second, one second. You will talk about hypocrisy right through. So I want to know if a man steals $10 million from NCB. We can put him in the picture, we can put him in the paper, he can get charged. And all of that are it's alleged and they get arrested. Why is it that we cannot know which politician, whether it's PNP, JLP, are the third one when we can never remember? Right? Why, if they're on the investigation, why they're they work for us, they work for me, they work for you. Right. Remember, I don't know who the illicit six is now, but right. Right. but right. One per, one party I hide. All right, so let me, let me explain that to you. So I let me explain that. And you can look up this and you can post it when you post it when you when you're doing your post uh, when you when you're doing your interview. You post an interview. Andrew Wallace cannot put a gag order on anyone to, to hold back any information. The, the the Integrity Commission Act states that you cannot reveal their identity when if they're under investigation. They are under investigation. You cannot even call them illicit because illicit means. You have already you have already confirmed that they did something illegal. So if you're going to call them the illicit six, it's not me. It's in the media. Mark Golden and, his, and, and, and the media, um, the illicit six. That alone within itself is wrong because you have not. They, they, that means they are guilty before proven innocent because you are already saying they are they are, they are doing unlawful um, 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 things. So Andrew Wilness cannot have a gag order on this situation. This is the policy of the Integrity Commission. Not of the release. Integrity Commission yes, or the Parliament. This is, this is a part of the Integrity Commission Act. Read it. Who they put the act in? The act who, the, who made the act the, pass the law? Integrity Commission does not pass laws. No, but this is not a, a, a law situation. It is a law. No, this is, not, is a, an, this is not a situation act. where they're trying to pass a law. No, it's an act. No, an but act. The, the Integrity Commission Act that was put together or mandated 
It's it passed by. The old, in, the old integrity it's commission. It's passed by. Parliament. Parliament. Parliament right. made out lawmakers. Of lawmakers. Who are, are? But PMP and JLP. PNP and JLP. But Jesus. remember, remember, PNP are on the, 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 the board as well. Yes. Of course. Of course. 49. PMP are on the... 49, 40. The Integrity... No. On the Integrity Commission Act. The commissioners. Yeah? And the directors. They are not just JLP members. I need you. Right. I need but you. But it's simply not. All I, you have to do is I read, need you. Read Did you hear the words? Read I need you to be... Because there's a road... I need balance on this platform. And there's going to be... I know you're busy. I know right. you're... A, and you're doing it all over the world. I know you have trucks going on. But I see that politics is part of your DNA. And right. it's a passion. And right. it's my passion too. And it's important for the people right. to understand and debate it. I am proudly team. Don't watch this. Team Mark Golden. Team Mark Golden. And okay. that's fine. And that's fair. Fair. That's and cool. you are proudly Team, I'm, I'm not in team. I'm looking at the best situation for us as black people Andrew. because, but because check this out. Andrew, same well, name. Well, I'm, not him naive, him. I'm not naive to think that politicians are are sin are free from sin. Right. I do not. I do not subscribe to. Oh, Mark is going to make the country better. Andrew, I, I think corruption comes on both sides. Correct. Right. But what is best for the country at this point? Is my, you think it's Andrew? The, the, the heart. The heart program that is happening. I think that is good for the youth. Them where youths can get money to go to. Um, fifteen thousand dollars, you know, you know, per month. They can get stipend. Um, they can actually get fifty to seventy-five thousand dollars if they graduate at a certain level. Big up, right? My son's godfather, Honorable Edward Siaga, for that. But anyway, I know he does something. But well, well, it is it is it is, it is mandated it is. by by the Andrew Owens administration. So, we, but I guess we can we can look at who started it and all of that stuff. It's, but it is what is happening now. I, I'm not going to dig into. Which party is better for the people? I'm asking what you. What policies are I'm better for the people you, of Jamaica? I'm asking you. Can you come back on this platform to speak on maybe, let me tell you, from now till election, it's going to be a festive yeah, yeah, yeah. No, me environment. Me come forward, but I just want to make it clear that I am not. The only reason I'm not support, one of the reasons, one of the main reasons why I'm, maybe two of the main reasons, three, I don't think Mark Golden has, has any message. I think I think there's nothing there. Is no message of how he's gonna get things done. One, it's just I've heard this before. Facts. Um, the whole chain thing that they acted with slavery that rubbed me a wrong way. Yes. A white man had to take off it chain. Was, it was wrong. Half a people neck. It, you know, it, it that. came off wrong. And However, then was when I was so. was I was like, you know, maybe it's just a skit. Then him go meet with Curry, quote unquote, Chief Curry, where actually. Is I think is 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 um, a separatist. That is that was that another. So yeah. those are your reasons. So I just think he has no message. I think he's he's, he's desperate to to get into, um, you know, the, the, the space and power um, of being of being you know prime minister. So what if Chris Tufton was to challenge Andrew, which is imminent, by the way? Challenge him for what? Leadership. The party leadership. Yes. Would you, are you still, would Tufton be somebody, because now you're going to have, would Tufton be somebody that you would look to? I am not pro-Andrew or, or will I be pro-Tufton. I will be pro what is best for the society. Would you think what is Tufton? best for the youth? Then now we have some skills, um, we're short of skills workers. Mm -hmm. Skill workers, yeah? I know people who have agriculture farms and it's, 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 it's like the fruits are, you know, you know, rotten. Mm -hmm. There's no one to read this, the till the soil or read the, the, read the, uh, the, the, the produce. So I know what I'm saying. Even in construction, people were flying in Chinese, um, people flying in Chinese to do the work, you know, because nobody, the youth, them no one dirty up the man again. Everybody want to have a TikTok, a wine and bubble and put on dress and all manner of foolishness so to get some little TikTok money. Mm -hmm. The girls them over there, you know, it's, it's a short, in, in, we have a shortage of skilled workers. And I think the hard program is it's a good, good thing. For the youth, them, I think, I think, I think if you have a bag of waste youth around you, like we have some artists have a bag of waste man around up behind them so they can thump down people when they diss them. I think you need to send them to heart. You see? So for skilled workers. And when they, when they get a skill, you can hire them if you have construction or if you have whatever. Do you think that under this administration, 
also has reintroduced slavery? And uh, what? Andrew, Andrew Wilness, um, Yeah, it. Andrew. In what way, though? In what way? The call centers. What's it? What's it? What's, what's, what's the, the call, call centers? Center? It's it's the foreign people who come and put their big buildings all over, and then because they give opportunities mm -hmm. to people for jobs, mm -hmm. but really and truly, it's way below par. So I call it modern day slavery. So what we have now become is a hub to keep people at a certain level. Yeah, but, but I think we're not talking about the three consecutive increase of minimum of, of minimum wage wages from Andrew Wilness administration. We're not talking about that. And people may say, oh, 15,000 is still not anything. But we have to also take into account that when minimum wages increase, the consumers sometimes feel it in, in, in buying back stuff from um, you know, the, 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 the sellers. So this is, this is why I'm going to say tea timers. Um, Vegas Energy is very, it's one of these things with truthful. Like, truthful, but it's giving me a natural high. That would because the first you. time somebody sit down and tell you the truth. Because you see, these, these, uh, your audience are your little clique that I think we and them kick off all the time because they're not loyal to you. I am more loyal to you than them because I'm recording and all them things and put your information out there. Wrong information. Wrong too. information too. And you're still loyal Some to them. Some of them might be in written. But I will, I will, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm you're not, not going to sell you. Intentionally. No, I will not lie. I know what I'm saying is the truth because you can, I can provide the evidence. All right. So, tea timers, I want to, I'm not going to get into politics because I wasn't ready to rumble today. I'm right. too cute. Mm. I want to get back to the project right, right. that you are working on because <laughs> you will be the person that I will rumble right. and discuss issues affecting yeah, from man. your eyes and my eyes. I want you to join me whenever you're free yeah, and we have something to talk about. No problem. And what I like is that I think our passion is definitely coming from a place that we want better, better for the country. That's, that's important. It, it is just, the, yeah, man, that's, it's not that's green the most important thing. because I voted JP I just feel good for us. I can bring in a, a, a machine for putting on my studio because the duty raised $1,000. Nice. $100. No, the one we used to pay $500. Isn't that $1,000 now? I just said that. It is? I said, yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. I stand correct. But, and, and the online one we used to shop $50 dollars It's 100 now. You don't want to think big that. Deal. $50 is that, is that big name? It's a big deal, but they were asking for this. 100% like, increase. It's not now that they need it's this It's who mandated increase. the policy. He's doing it because it's he knows that the policy. he is going. Andrew, why though? He why could have done it? this eight years ago. Now that he's declining in popularity. Talk about the eight, talk about the 18 years of the PNP administration that got nothing done. Oh my God. Tell me, tell me, in the past 30 years. The PNP, highways uh, were started PNP, by? PNP administration has been in power for 18 out of the past 30 years. When have um, Jamaicans, you know, you know, enjoyed this whole thing that they're, they're promising now. When? when? When have Jamaicans ever been like, yeah, this is working out for me? I want to tell you, this is the poorest I have ever been. That's my choice, I think. Yeah, you know, it's, it's choice. You know why it's yeah. choice? Because I'm not going to TikTok. I'm not going to go bagger bagger. And I'm not going to sell front. I will right. never do it. <laughs> and I have people lined up to actually send. It's easy. Wait to make money, but I do not you're very, want... You're very, you're very influential. Um, I think you could, you'd be a great artist manager. I think you have so much knowledge of the industry. So I think you're, you being poor, quote-unquote poor, is a choice. <laughs> so you're not going to put no blame on Andrew. Like, the, the fact that I cannot... That things have gotten more expensive. I, I, challenge, I, I will challenge Andrew Wilness on the teacher's salary. And the police, the police officers. I think the police officers are underpaid. I think the teachers, there needs to be something done about the teachers' salary. I'm not going to challenge him on the 300% increase because Mark Golden is taking home $26 million. If By who? No, 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 you're not, no. Facts. Oh, excuse me. Facts. That policy was made by Andrew because he knows he's going to be in. Signed off on by Julian Robinson. 
signed off on. People, I'm going to tell you something. Mark Gonin is taking out 26 million, Andrew Gonin is taking out 9 million around here. No, it's the same. No, ma'am. He just chose to give no. it up one year. Whatever, whatever. One, one year. year. Show me the evidence. What I know he now. He said it's important. Last time I checked, last time I checked, Andrew Gonin did not accept the increase. Mark Gonin accepted it. I you know what he said. He's giving it to charity. He doesn't need the, the, the salary to give to charity. He's a rich man. What so is not, it, nothing what is wrong with a rich man. Actually, I would prefer a rich man running. You know but what? It, 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 it did, tea it did timers. Have to do it. Tea timers. We are going to stop right here because <laughs> I want Vegas to tell me about the songs right. that you, you produced. A rhythm. The rhythm name reactivate. Reactivate. Um, because I think that, I think juggling coming back, but I think that the rhythm them not hardcore enough. To, to, to be played like when we used to hear Pepper Seed and filter rhythm with Head Zion, and Traffic Blacking and Spraga Benz. Mm -hmm. And now I think I have that. We have Conscience already, we have Niger Boy already. Can we hear, we can we hear a clip? Yeah, I can play the rhythm. Can we get the rhythm up? You can add it in the editor, right? No, it's nice when it's okay. just, we'll get the now. Just instrumental. Yeah, man. We have anybody recorded? Are you? You, do? you can play my song, Panis. <laughs> you get a voice there? You get a voice. Should I say? Brown and Trimble. <laughs> yeah, man. Real dancer. You have another one? You have another one? You have another one? Conscience Niger Boy, uh, Mali Ali, um, a, a young artist, Dr. Love artist. Uh, I know Niger, that big up Dr. Niger Dr. Love. Niger, Niger Boy is an, doing it. Such a great person, Dr. Such Love. He's doing really, really well with Niger yes, Boy against is. all odds. Yes. And um, he reached out to me um, last year, last year, January, or uh, year before last, December, I think. And he said, Yeah, I want to do a song with my artist, you know. And I did the song Waterfalls, you know. I remember the song. And then to see him where he's at now, like it, I did just hear something from them time. And with such great potential, and yeah, somebody with a disability that hasn't made him stop him from being such a wonderful go getter. Great, 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 great youth, man. Great, great youth. Great, great. great and great I, youth. you know what? I want to thank you for being a visionary. And, and definitely by even going and giving Niger Boy that platform has helped. Well, somebody yeah. gave me a chance, you know, so I'm, I, I have no qualms in working with younger artists. I want and to congratulate you yeah, on man, that. Yeah, my always work with younger artists. You even when, really? when I just started. And people don't even know that Mr. Vegas produced Wally Passang. Wally, Wally Passang in a dance hall. Like even being a man, no, girl can't see them for me. Yeah, that me producer. I do whole place to lock up. I'm me producer, my label, in the streets, with me and Maury. So enough tune produce, she's the one in tune that we produce them. Alazir, the Amoebus Alazir. I know that. Yeah, man. So, I, but we're not really going and publicize it, but just to the point where... You Mr. know, Nassar, and you've been around, like, you have done right, it. Right, being a, a, a person, a visionary. A... I really love music. Yes. You understand? And it's not even just Jamaica alone. Like, I remember going to Martinique and discovering, not just discovering her, Maureen, who's like the hottest artist in Martinique now. And I just heard, when they sent me the, the track with her, I just said, yes, it's bad. She never had no name. You're an artist, artist, don't you know? God just love music, you know? Well, tea timers. That me would have put out LA Louis song if I were if I were, you know, were Russian. What you said? Yeah, I would have released it. Like that's I grew up in that era where Steely and Cleve and Danny Brownie and the greats, they would have identified that it was a hit song. Like I actually want to record it. The LA Lewis tune on the, the, the Dutty Money rhythm. That is, how, that is how Steely used to be such a great person. Like, I would come from country and have a song. When me in a lot of me, I left from Moko. And it, and it, just, and it just become a big, big song. So those are the, so, them type of vision, they, that, that is Literally, where, that's what I grew up I've on. Literally, I've spent two episodes talking about how that song yeah, it's a hit tune. is a hit song. It is a hit tune. And Russian literally chose not to look at it for whatever stigma I believe. I don't it's not, know it's not what really it is. It's not really stigma. I think 
People don't see him as an artist, but yeah, he right. is an artist. But he's not, remember, you know, he's not just uh, L.A. Lewis, you know. People look at even the older artists, they might think they're not important to what they're doing. You have to understand that. But that's why I, sh I stay in my lane. I'd rather turn on my camera and talk about social issues than How can I get ridiculed. you, L.A. Lewis, to work with you? No, it's not. I wouldn't like work with L.A. Lewis, like take, take, him, no, like I'm, take him like a producer mm -hmm. and produce it. But like that song. I would have produced that song, that song. But you can't do it, you can't, you can't, you still can't do it with this song? No? It passed? Maybe, maybe it passed. But I still think about it. Like, like I remember telling Dr. Hoffa, yo, I would have produced that song, then I released it to them. I just think yeah. that, I thought that that was something that should have, would, been, would have been a hit song. in the atmosphere. Yeah, man, I eat crazy food right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six. Big show. And he's loved by so many But that people. is the difference with ghetto producers and uptown producers still. Still, they're the most ghetto producers. Ghetto people producers. King Jam is them. They take ghetto risk. Producers. And they took risks. They're not even risks. They, they, they could have relate. Russian yes. can't relate to the common man. They're more uptown. But we understand still. They say, uh, them, 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 do, them do something for that crowd still and the audience. The young Why do we owe you drop tea in here now? I add for me, for, but we will just sip that. Mm. People, I'm going to end the program, but <laughs> we're going to end it here. Yeah, well, big up yourself. Vegas, you need to come back. I will. I will. Say good night. Yeah, man, big up on yourself, people. Don't know. He's <laughs> <laughs> special. <laughs> tea time ones, we are out. Boom. Your tea time, Auntie Shelley. Never bag a thing for talk. <laughs>